Hello Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG. And I'm here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Rob Sanderson, WA2FMH. And he has a question. He has running a sloper dipole. The highest he can get the highest part of the tree is about 15 to 20 feet. So you're like me. You've got pretty small trees. We've got mature pinion pines, and they're anywhere from 25 to 30 feet, and that's at the very top. So where you can attach an antenna is significantly less high. He says the reception is poor. Let's examine that for a moment. Um, does it mean you can receive nothing, or does it mean that the noise level is so high that it swamps everything? Does it mean that you do not have a good ground on your system so that energy from the antenna has nothing to work against? By the way, that's a real important one. Make sure you've got your ground rod and your lightning arrestor. You run your cable through it. You also run a cable up to your internal single point ground where you've got all your equipment grounded to, okay? Except the power supply, it'll ground itself. So you could be having that sort of problem. A three, do you live in a, a, a hollow, the bottom of a valley, something like that, that could uh, reduce the level of signals that you hear? I am thinking that you need to go recheck your ground situation and you need to check for loose connections because a loose connection can cause that thing to go haywire. You might look at tuning the antenna. Sometimes the antenna ends up being tuned somewhat outside the band, and that does affect receive as well as transmit. 15 to 20 feet, I've got a video about using two pieces of top length fence, top rail. One just slides into the other slightly about that much. And you can put that up with some guy ropes on it. It'd be 20 feet in the air. Okay, that's an easy way to get up 20 feet. Now, if you try to go taller than that, you run into issues with raising the antenna. Tegan and I are running into right now, we're trying to raise a mast to 33 feet, and it's just not going well. Neither of us are tall enough to just pick it up and put it there. We are finding all kinds of issues with that, so I may have to rent a lift truck to get that thing up there. If the lift truck costs more than the antenna, then I'll just put the lift truck there and attach it to that. Okay, reception is poor. If I raise the insulator end of the dipole, I hope you have insulators on both ends of the dipole. Okay, because you're feeding it in the middle. If I raise the insulator end of the dipole another five feet or so, will that, in help, will that help improve the reception? Yes. Yes, it will. Height matters in antennas. Okay, just get the antenna up high. A sloper dipole to me means center fed. If it's an end fed dipole, make sure your ballon is correct. Make sure it's 49 to one ballon. And then make sure that the coax from there to your lightning arrestor is 30 to 40 feet long. If it is shorter than that, coil it up or something, but it'll, it'll get grounded at the lightning arrestor. That serves as the counterpoise for the antenna. If you're off center feeding it, you don't need a counterpoise, but it depends on what you're doing. Okay, a ham friend of mine who fixes radios as a hobby says the radio is working fine. Now the way he can tell that is he's got a signal generator. This is a signal generator, by the way, right here. And it um, takes a moment to come up, it's by Regal. And they used to just call them signal generators because they would just generate sine waves. But you've got all kinds of waves that you can generate there to try various things. It's the sine wave that you use. And you can set this for whatever power out you want, including way down many, 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 many dB minus dBm, so that it's a signal that you can put into the radio and see how well it works. You can also modulate that and so on. There's just a million different things that you can do with a good uh, signal generator, or as this is called, an arbitrary function generator. Arbitrary function generator. That's 10 syllables to say signal generator. That's what I would try. I'd go back and check your wiring. 
one thing you can do is pull the coax out of the back of the radio and then put just the tip in. And if that's much, much louder than when you put the whole thing on, there's a short somewhere. And you want to go find that and fix that. Okay. So if you've got a classic dipole, classic dipole with no ballon at the center, you should have infinite resistance between the outer shell of the coax and the inner conductor. Okay, so two separate pieces. If, however, you have a ballon in there, you'll be looking at some non-zero, but not very much above zero uh, resistance. So if it's a dead short, you've got a connector problem. So give it a try, work around it, try and get it up a little bit more high, or heaven forbid, try a vertical. MFJ started producing a really cool vertical and then they went and closed themselves up and I was really tickled with this vertical. Okay, so there you have it. I hope some of those suggestions help with your reception. When you have the antenna connected, you should see no more than about S5 noise. If you've got over S9 noise, it's going to obliterate all the signals. The first thing to do to reduce noise Make sure you're grounded properly, okay? Make sure there are no shorts or opens in any of the antenna connectors. You know, when you're trying to do something for the first time, there's probably one thing wrong, but who knows where it is. Now, after your system's been up and it stops working, now you know you're looking for one cause, and you can go look at things like the wind blew the antenna down, or a uh, coax cable came disconnected or something like that and find the thing that that went wrong all right there you go i also want to give you my favorite ham radio word and that is this persevere stick with this till you solve it until we next meet 73